All right. Ah. Uh, well. Uh, hi there. My name is uh, Spencer, or just Omni. I'm one half of Omni Tick Gaming. Uh, today I'm gonna be doing my first Let's Play, and I'm gonna do a classic that I know and love, Banjo Kazooie. Now, I'm doing the Xbox 360 version of it for a few reasons. Uh, there's some minor changes to the game, uh, and when I say minor, they are honestly pretty minor, other than, you know, general control uh, and stuff like that, but uh, there are some reasons, mostly because as much as I do know the game, I tend to die sometimes, and as opposed to the N64 one, I don't want to have to go back and collect all the notes again, because... That sucks. <laughs> so, we're just gonna start a new game, and... hope this goes well. <laughs> so yeah, we got... You know... Big Scare Witch, we'll sit here, we'll watch the opening. It'll be fun. Got the Witch's Castle. Going right up here, what's going on? She just call herself a wench? Oh, rare. One of the things I love about this game, they are chock full of innuendos. This is back when video games could get away with stuff and nobody would really complain about it. Which I like. Which I really, really like. And I'm not alone here in recording. Sitting next to me is the other half of Omnitic, Zeratic. If you can hear me, hello. They can hear you. He'll sort of be providing insight and hopefully some sort of social commentary. Who knows? Really? Well, I remember way back in the day when I played it on the N64. This was like my favorite game ever, but it was always really hard because video games are harder when you're a kid. <laughs> well, we're gonna shoot for you know. Probably not the fastest time this game has ever been played in, but, you know, we'll see. I know it pretty well, and I'm by no means trying to complete it. I'm not going to be a completionist about it. I'm going to do, like, what I need to actually get through the game, as opposed to get everything. So I'm not getting all 900 notes. I'm probably not going to get all 100 jiggies. Did you know you can beat the game with only, or you can get everything in the game with only 96 jiggies and, um, 860 notes, I believe it is? Yeah, you don't need all the notes to beat the game, yeah. After you, um, after you finish the last, uh, puzzle, you actually have four jiggies left over. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting tidbit. I'm wondering if Rare did that on purpose, or... Is there more in this game? Another interesting note about uh, Banjo-Kazooie for the Xbox 360 instead of the uh, 64 is the uh, infamous stop and swap feature. It's fully instated, but um, is not available for use in Banjo-Tooie, but rather Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, which doesn't count. You've never heard of stop and swap? Oh, haven't you seen those eggs? The eggs, uh, what they were originally supposed to do... Oh, here we go, we're actually starting to play. So, what do we got? We got banjo or bottles here. Bottles, the mole, yeah. It's gonna be all like, hey, I'm gonna teach you moves. Um, see, I could do the moves, but I'd honestly rather just run and go get the actual 
honeycombs, then do the actual stuff. So he's gonna offer me training, and he's gonna be all like, teach me, and I'm gonna be all like, no. So he'll give me my starting moves, and I think this first video will just be showing you where to get the uh, honeycombs here on Spiral Mountain. Yeah, everybody likes Kazooie's sidestep better. First one is right over here on the logs. You, of course, have to learn the uh, backflip, but that's pretty easy to get up there. Whoa, wonky camera. I do like now that the camera is stick control as opposed to C buttons. Then again, I think everybody likes dual stamp camera stick. Second honeycomb right up here on this tree. Let's jump for it. Fucking carrots. How do they work? Anyway. Third honeycomb piece. Right up here. Really? Yeah, platform... I don't know. Platforming when you were young, I don't know. It... It was hard. Platforming to me is still hard. Somehow I'm good at this game. Uh, fourth honeycomb piece is right in here. I believe it's... I jumped in on the wrong side. I don't like to swim. This takes too long. God! I should have just gone right. Dive down. There it is. Next honeycomb piece, you have to smash all these rocks. Relatively. Relatively easy. And see, this is, this is a good reward, a good incentive if you haven't played the game for, um... Actually, uh... For, for, to learn the moves. Like, I, I wish more games incorporated something like this, but... Never mind, don't listen to me. Um... It'd be really nice if more games incorporated giving you some sort of bonus for completing the tutorial rather than just being like, yep, plot progression. And there's the last honeycomb. And then... Woo! You get more. Another interesting fact. Uh, though there are 24 honeycombs in the game to collect, um, the last six, you don't have to because it won't give you an extra piece. Again, I, I think, honestly, maybe this is in case someone skipped the, um, tutorials and didn't know you could get them. I don't know, that's just what I think. But, here we are at the top of the mountain, Bottles is gonna tell us, hey, you gotta go in, save your sister, because the witch is evil, and yada yada yada. We sure are ready, now show us the way. Yep, cross the bridge, and in we will go. I think we're gonna wrap the first video up. Just a little bit shy of ten minutes, just so, you know, we get more balance in. And, um, look forward to, uh, just doing this Let's Play for you guys. Alright? This is Omni, signing off for now.